Hello, this is Dr. Mukta Nadek, Senior Consultant Obstetrics and Gynecology in the Cloud9 Hospitals in the Malaysia Room branch. Okay, now how do we go about diagnosing the cause of the abnormal uterine bleeding in a particular woman? Before uh, giving a list of diagnostic tests to the woman, I would lay emphasis on a careful history taking and a detailed physical examination which would involve a general and a local examination. Now a meticulous history taking can give us uh, insight into uh, many uh, causes of the abnormal bleeding such as coagulopathies now, which would give us history of frequent episodes of uh, gum bleeding, frequent bruising, surgery related bleeding and also a family history of uh, unusual bleeding. Uh, in physical examination, the general, uh, we would find a, a patient uh, who is obese, hirsute, with a lot of acne and would direct us towards a diagnosis of polycystic ovarian disease. In a local examination, we would uh, look for any growth which could be benign or malignant in the genitals, that is in the cervical area, which would point to a cervical malignancy. After having done a detailed uh, history taking and careful examination, then we go to the tests which are ordered to the patient. These would include certain lab tests, that is a complete hemogram, a coagulation profile, and if needed, a thyroid profile and a, a hormonal profile to clinch the diagnosis of polycystic ovaries. After doing the tests, uh, the imaging tests are very important in the diagnosis of the structural causes of uh, abnormal uterine bleeding. The imaging tests are the ultrasound, a basic pelvic ultrasound, which would tell us about the uterus, the adenexa and the uh, endometrial thickness. Then a 3D ultrasound, which would give us more detail, uh, details about the myomas. Uh, the mapping of myomas and the intracavitary lesion. Uh, the Doppler ultrasound would pick up the AV malformations and the details of the malignancies. And in this, uh, we are also helped by MRIs and saline infusion sonography. Uh, hysteroscopy would also be a very di important diagnostic tool in this uh, manner. Uh, endometrial sampling, which is uh, mandatory in a woman aged uh, 40 years uh, and above, uh, to rule out malignancy and also below 40 years if uh, the endometrial thickness is 12 millimeters or above. 